Hi everyone, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational videos. In this video, I will cover all the important points related to J Main 2021 application and exam. So basically this is a question answer session in which I will try to clear all your doubt related to J 2021 application and exam. So without wasting any time, let's start the video. But before starting the video, if, if you have any doubt after watching this video, you can ask me in the comment section or on my Instagram so that I can clear your doubt. And uh, if you are first to my channel, please subscribe it so that you will get further videos on J2021 and cutoff related in future also. And for many videos on NIT, triple IIT, you can check I button as well as the description box so let's start the today's video here is the question and their answer related to the registration of j2021 so here is the first question for dropper do need do they need to register again yes this is a new year in which you have to register again but you need to register first time before Feb February attempt and you will uh, just do payment for next attempt and so on for the four attempt so you have to register again now for 2021 J so the next question is for improvement a student what to give past or appearing so for improvement a student you only put it past because now you don't have to put any marks related things and you don't need to upload any marks it so by the time the counseling happen and you are going to take admission then till then you will get your improvement result and you have to put that marks on the on, at the time of counseling so to do, now just put past and application form is required in future the application form that you will get after the registration process and the fee payment that will be required at the time of counseling so keep it with you it will be very important for you so next is photo and signature criteria so the photo should be as clear as you can provide and it may be color or in black uh, don't really matter but uh, your photo should be clear and it should be as recent uh, as possible you can use last year photo but they have they said in the information bulletin that uh, you should uh, upload the recent photo so use recent photo it will be better for you uh, and signature this the same signature you have to do at the time of examination so be sure about that and how to resize the image if you are doing by yourself on your mobile or laptop i will talk about that later so fee payment and refund you can pay all the uh, four attempts fee now and you will be done with all the four attempts and you just need to download the admit card and go for the exam in all four and if you want to pay for only fab attempt then you can do then next you will have to pay for march and april and may so on so if and suppose if you paid all the four attempt fee now and you want uh, the refund for second because you can't attempt due to any other reason then you will get the refund for second attempt if you want third attempt refund then also you can get the refund just you need to do the refund process in your login page so next is can we correct information after registration first of all i would like to say give your information correctly as much as possible you will have the option to correct it in the in a window after the registration in two three days they will be allowed but try to don't do the mistakes while registration and if you have done then don't worry you will have the option to correct it 
but you have to be careful when the date is announced for that so next is language preference can be changed no language preference can't be changed so be aware of this and do on the select do select the language that you are comfortable with because that language will be appear in the real examination now what need to upload in the upload section you need to upload only photo signature and category certificate if required if you belong from general then you don't need to upload anything and don't need to upload mark sheet or 10th 12th anything not no you just need to upload your signature photo and category certificate now how to resize the image you can use just google it image resizer and there you have to paste your image and they will resize the image suppose if you click from mobile it is of 2 mb or 1 mb then they will resize it to 20 kb 30 kb as you want and it will be clear image don't worry for that you can use it while registration so you can use the image resizer for photo as well as uh, signature so just click the photo from your mobile and don't need to a scan or um, do anything just put your photo and image uh, image of your uh, signature on the image resizer and you will get the image Mm. resized that in your preferred mm, memory space that is 20 kb 30 kb as you need so now i will talk about the general question and their answer so is 75 percent mandatory yes it is mandatory for all whether you are dropper or not if you are going to give the improvement exam then don't worry you will get your result improved above 75 percent that you will be then you will be considered for the admission and what is the home state eligibility so so just listen carefully about this because this is a very important thing you should know it suppose you have given your 10th exam from some state and uh, you live in that state but you you have appear for class 12th exam from any b state then the b state will be your home state don't matter where you live where you have done your 10th your home state will be the state in which you have appear for class 12th examination and suppose if you have done your class 12th examination in state a and you are going to appear for improvement in state B then also your state of home state eligibility will be a state A so the home state eligibility will be your 12th exam state in which you have attempt the class 12th exam first so I think it is now clear about the home state eligibility you should know it very well and now after registration you should use national test abhyas it will give you estimation of your marks that you will you are going to get in the original exam they here they provide all type of exam so you can do it after completing your syllabus and one more important thing for a state board students who are not a part of cbsc because CBSC student note they have to score 75 percent but for a state board it is top 20 percentile there is no fix a percentage suppose if you are belonging from a particular state in which 20 percent a student got above 60 percent marks then 60 percent marks will be the cutoff that is top 20 percentile will be considered above 60 percent so this is the meaning of top 20 percentile so try to be in top 20 percentile so as to get the seat in an it iits if you are from a state board student now can we register separately for each attempt yeah no the registration will be done now only and you have to pay the fee again and again 
and you will get the admit card just because the registration will not done every time you need to just register before first attempt and if you don't register first attempt then you can do the registration that means you have to do the registration uh, only once yeah that i have said uh, earlier uh, you don't need to register again and again you just need to register one time so that's it about j 2021 important information i think you should got your doubt clear and uh, hope you find this video useful for you regarding the j 2021 registration and exam so if you like this video please subscribe my channel and share this video to your friends thanks